Briar Lady TV. I do live streams every Wednesday, troubleshooting new designs for uh, jewelry, wire jewelry, uh, ornaments, wire art, all kinds of things. Today I'm staying on the theme of horses. So I've already done horse pins, quite a few horse pins. Any of these designs can be used as a jewelry, like um, earrings, even making small for rings, pendants, all kinds of things. So I will show you, these are the, the templates that I've been working from and also the ones that are available as tutorials is I did a beaded horse pin. There's the outline. Hi Amber, hi Ellen. Here's the horse uh, stick pin and then this is the horse shawl pin. All of the templates are available as a bundle in my Etsy DIY shop, so you can um, pick up the bundle. It's a couple of bucks, not expensive, helps support my channel. And today I am going to be working on a sun catcher. So we're going to work on that. I'm going to flip the screen and then you guys can see uh, what I'm working on and also I can see your comments. So let me flip the screen. We're going to bring that one around. I'm going to pull you up on my computer. Let me just come around and do that. I'm making some things here coming around. And uh, let me pull up the video because I have to see the comments on the live stream and see what's going on. So there we go. They changed uh, the YouTube format so that um, it's hard to see the comments. You have to go to the live section. So Amber, Tree Sap Girl is Amber. If you guys don't know, Amber is one of the moderators of my channel. Super appreciate you being here always. And oh, it's uh, Ellen's here and Eileen, two, um, two names that start with E. Hi. And Mirta, hello, hello. And Roddy, awesome. Uh, Roddy's wired in. Cool. I like that username. Awesome. So now we are going to be working on this sun catcher. I meant to grab the other ones that I've been working on and now I'm not sure where I put them. Here they are because I want to show you guys the other ones that we've already done. So here's the bag and we will be working on the sun catcher. So these are the ones that I've already done and I will link up all of the tutorials and live streams for these ones below. And like I said, all the templates are available in my Etsy DIY shop. Uh, I'll link, that's, they're always, that's always linked up in the description of my video. So last week we did these on the live stream. They were pins. This was more like an earring type of thing. So we did those. And then I did a tutorial for this one, which is a beaded horse pin, which is super cute. Uh, so that's gonna be linked up as well. And then the horse stick pin, also sweet. That goes to the back, so horse stick pin. And then the horse shawl pin, which this goes just in a shawl or a scarf. So I will link that one up too. And today we're gonna work on a sun catcher. So this is the template. I am gonna grab some 16 gauge wire. I'm using the artistic wire in rose gold, Beadalon sent me all kinds of great wire. So I have all different sizes of the rose gold. So we have 20 gauge and we have, oh, I bet these, I should have tied those up, 18 gauge and we have 22 gauge. So these are sort of my favorite gauges to work with. 20 is the one I work with the most, but they're all in this beautiful rose gold color and they're tarnish resistant. So we're gonna move those over Mirta says, I'm trying to make something like that with a cowhide leather. Ooh, hmm, sounds fascinating. So I thought we could just start with the shoe and then I'm gonna do this one separate with a thinner wire, probably 18 gauge. Hopefully this isn't too thick. So, and then this one, I was thinking either to do loops with wire or, which I haven't quite decided, to do beads around here. So yeah, I haven't quite decided if I wanna do the beads or if I wanna do the wire. I'm not sure about the beads. So you could do beads, but I think I'm gonna just do wire for today. Very Western. You need a, an emoji with a cowboy hat. So now how much wire are we gonna need? Well, at least this amount, like times two a bit, plus enough for the loops. So I'm just going to, sometimes I work right off the spool 
which I can do, but it might get a little awkward. So I'm just gonna cut a piece. I wonder if I can measure it. I'll just measure it down my table. It looks like it's about three feet or something. So I'm gonna cut this. Hopefully it's enough. If you're in doubt, you can start at the center here. So if I start at the center, now I'm not even sure it's gonna be enough wire. Uh, I think I will do the heart too. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do the a heart or you could do a little loop and dangle a heart bead, which would be really cute. You could also dangle beads underneath. That would be super cute. So let's just try this. We're gonna put this in the center. I'm going to bend this guy. So we're gonna bend this, uh, maybe a little to one side. So the sides will be somewhat even. So we're gonna bend that up. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way there and I'm going to form the heart so I will not make it too too big hi Connie howdy nice nice so we're gonna do this and bring this one around to make a heart so I'm gonna keep it somewhat simple just bring that one around there make sure it's going to be big enough you could maybe even go a little bit bigger and bring that here. And always on these live streams, I work on designs that I haven't made before. That's the fun part. I kind of troubleshoot with you guys, which is really fun. And the horses I did started last week and then I've been doing more horse tutorials and stuff all week. So this will be it for the horses as far as I know. I think I also have a horse ring in one of the previous live streams where I was making a bunch of rings. So I'll try to find that and link it up. I don't know, Amber, if you remember if I did a horse ring or not. I think I might have. If not, I can definitely do one. Let me know if you would like a horse ring. So we have that there, which is a nice, simple heart. And we're just going to bend this one out this way. Perfect. And then bring this one around. So now we want to form the loops. So we're going to just curve it around with your finger. This is beautiful wire. Really, really nice. And I'm going to get probably this shape. This might be too big. We're going to try it. If it's too big, I will get a different round form. So we're going to bring that one around and see if that's about the size. That's pretty good. So we're gonna do there, and then let's start the one on the other side so we can get them centered around here. You don't recall one. Hmm, yeah, I'll have to do one. Hi, Peggy. There we go. Good, you have solved my birthday and Christmas gifts for my sisters. Yay, that's awesome. I'm so happy. You have some horse lovers in the family. Very nice. So we're gonna bring this one in. I don't wanna bring it in too much but I do want to get it centered so let's see how that looks let me bring this one in a little bit more and bring that one up here so we're going to just curve it around this one too bring it here and curve it around maybe these loops are too big I'm not sure it's okay if they're a little exaggerated um yeah I'm going to bring this one out a little more because you do want them quite even. So if you need to adjust them, you just put the pen back in and rotate it a bit to adjust the, the distance and then do that. So let's bring this one around here and we'll go to this position. So now we're gonna keep going with this. Bring this one around, this one too. Bring this one around. Hopefully I'm staying, oh yeah, this is good. If, I, if my template is centered, then my hand should stay somewhat centered here. Perfect, so yeah, the, lots of horse lovers. My sister used to like horses, but um, I don't think she's horseback ridden in, since she was a teenager. I think I've only done it once or twice. I went, Mark and I went horseback riding once in, I think it was Guatemala. Mexico and the horse sense that I had like I did not know how to ride a horse like they they just knew that I was useless at riding horses so the, the horse just stood there he did not move for me and um, I got slightly turned off because they I mean we just rented horses we didn't 
uh, have any guidance or anything. So that was a very disappointing first uh, experience riding horses and I've never done it since. So, so much for that. So let's bring this one up here. I really hope I'm not gonna run out of wire. I'm slightly afraid. We're going to see. Yeah, I might run out of wire. Maybe these loops are too big. I could maybe make them smaller. I'm gonna see. We're gonna see what happens. If I run out, oof, I don't wanna start again. So we're gonna see what happens here. Around here, around there, it's pretty good. Get this evened out and bring this one up and then one more. Yeah, I might just not be able to double up at the top. I was gonna do some dub double up some of these things. Ooh, I'm really worried I'm gonna run out of wire. So if, if that's the case, use more wire. Like if you're following this pattern as is, we're gonna need to use about four feet of wire maybe. I think I'm using three feet, so four feet might be better. So we're gonna bring that one up here and around here. It should be good. Bring that one up here and around here. And then this one too. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm loving these big loops, but sometimes you just don't know until you try. So let's center this, get this one up here. This one has to be up a little bit more, although the distance is pretty good. Let's just do this to this. I'm actually gonna flip it and do this to this because maybe the maybe my template's not even, although I think it is, it looks pretty good. Okay, let's bring that one in there. So how does that look? I think it's pretty good. Okay, so now we are going to take this one up here, bend that up, and then across. Oh yeah, this is, I think this is not gonna work. We're gonna see. And then down, and then down like that. So yeah, we're running out of wire. Oh, we're gonna figure this one out after, but that's the idea. So yeah, that's not working. So let's do it again. I'm just trying to think if I like those loops. Do you guys let me know if you like those loops? Otherwise I could do beads on there as well, which might be interesting. I have to see about that. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna see, let me know if you think it would look good. Let me take this. Let me know if you think it would look good, either with smaller loops or beads. Let's see what it's gonna look like like that. So let's just take these beads to see, because this is where we do the troubleshooting to figure out if we like the way things look. So that's an idea. But you guys let me know if it's better with beads or without beads, because we would have beads like that. I'm not sure I like that. So let me know what you think. With beads or, or I can try half and half. With beads or without? Oh, well, let's remove this so we can see what it looks like. I don't know. Without, okay, yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's, it's good to know though, like that's why I like doing this so you guys can um, see if you like something or not. So now we have to like cut this wire bigger. So it was about there, I'm gonna cut it even bigger. Oh, I'll reuse that other wire for something else. I don't mind. Those beads are beautiful for me. Oh, okay, Silver Phoenix, hello. I like the loops, the beads would look nice too. Hmm, okay. The holes on the horse ones are smaller anyways. Yeah, you're right, they are smaller anyways. So let's do that, because I don't know if I can, can I? I don't know if I can rework this. Let me try, rather than starting again, let's see if I could just re rework this a little bit. Because if I could just rework this, then I won't have to worry about I shouldn't have bent those things but that's okay I can I can figure that out so this wire is pretty forgiving so why don't we go ahead and undo that because oh yeah that's not too bad so we're just going to undo that and 
this one too. Would some do all that? Because I think we can we can make do with this. There we go. We're just gonna make do with this. And the holes won't necessarily be centered because, um, I mean, I could center them, but I'm not. This is just going to be really stylized, guys. So let's not worry too much about that. And what I'm going to do is, what if we just used these? I also have my looping pliers somewhere, which, let me see if I have my looping pliers handy, because if I have them... I can use those, but I'm not sure that I do. Let's see. Oh, I think I do. There. Okay. Let's use these guys. These are my looping pliers, the Beadsmith looping pliers. So let's try that. Clear beads, slightly colored, and beads. Oh, so we have a mix, beads and not beads. So you guys can try it with beads if you if you like the idea for sure. It would, uh, it would be a great idea to try it. And do I have my wire straightener thing? Oh, there we go. Wow, we're just in luck today. So I have my wire straightener from uh, Beetle On. So why don't we do that? Let's just back it up a bit. Okay. And this one, let me figure out how this works. I think you just put this in here, maybe? I forget how this works. Is that how you work it? I think you stick it in here and do it go like that or something. I think that's how you straighten the wire. Yeah, so it looks all right. And then this side. Sometimes I just straighten it with a cloth too. Let's try this. That's pretty good. And then this up here, I'm gonna to have to straighten it like this. So. That's unfortunate that the, all that happened, but sometimes we can't control things that, you know, little errors and stuff. I didn't foresee that I would run out of wire, but that happens. That's why sometimes I work off the roll or sometimes I just um, cut it way too long. So there's, let's go back to that. So let's curve this around here. Now my wire probably is way too long and Let's get the looping pliers. Maybe do three loops or beads on each side. Could have done that. Yeah, could have done that. I actually um, traced an actual um, horseshoe. So I just downloaded a picture from Canva and traced it. So it's some it's supposed to be somewhat accurate I don't know anything about horses or horseshoes so I'm not quite sure but we're going to use this loop here and hopefully that's going to be better so it's a little smaller I might even go a little smaller to be sure let's go to the next one down to be sure so we're going to bring this one in here and that's going to be quite a bit smaller but just to be sure we don't run out of wire we're going to do that. So bring this one here and see if they're positioned. This has to come in a little bit, I think. I'll bring that one in a little bit more and then around. And then these you can fix up a little bit. And now that my loops though are are um, smaller. I don't know how well centered this is going to be. I think I have to bring this one out a little bit. So we can do that. We can just like rotate it out a little bit. There we go. Okay. So this and this. Yeah. I'll change the template too to be sure. So we're going to do another one here. Bring this to the back and this one too. You could actually probably do this on a template. Like I have one of those very big jigs from Beetle On and I bet I could maybe do a setup on the jig to be able to make it. So if you were making a lot of them, 
you could uh, just copy it from a jig. So that's an idea. Let's do one side and then the other. I'm gonna just go here, up here, rotate a little more. Whoops, wrong side. Okay, let's make sure we're staying on the camera. And hi, Stacy. Yeah, let me know if I miss any of your comments. And we're going to bring this one here. And I'm hoping we're going to have enough wire. I think we should. So this, this, and this one. This, this, and this. Just trying to get them centered on the template. And then this one up here. Curve it out. And hold it and then bring it up. This better work after all this and they're perfect so we're gonna bring that one up and then I'm gonna just rather than go to that side I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this and try to match it up on this side so this one yeah definitely has to come out a little more there we go and that one a little bit more There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna there you up here. And that one's yes, yeah, as long as they're like centered there, should be good. And the next one. I think smaller loops are gonna be better. And that one. That one's good. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to double the wire at the end there, but we're going to see. So we're going to put that there, there, and this one. Get that one here. And a little more. Hopefully this will be even. Okay, so one, two, that's pretty good. So now you can look at it and see if you need to, this one got a little kinked. You can see if we can make that nice horseshoe shape. So let's get that one around. And keep in mind, this is just a experiment. Uh, sometimes when I, the first time I do these things, they don't turn out too good. But then if you guys make them, you can take ideas from what I'm doing and then make it your own or change it up a little bit as you, See fit if you like the designs, if you want to add beads, add beads. So we've got this here. And then here we will, one, two, three, I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. And then this way, across, get that more or less right. And then that one, yeah, we're not going to be able to double back to make it a line across there, but it should be okay. We're just going to do it this way, that way, and then down. Because what I would have liked to do was to go around there, but that didn't quite work. So we're, now we're going to take this one here, put that one there, and then bend that one here, and take this one. And across here, Let's see if that's in the right shape. Here. Sometimes it's, you can like measure it. There, that goes a little above there. This one goes, oh, that one's going a little too much. There, that should be good. Across, and then here, we just hold it with our finger there to mark it, and then down. And then this one over here and down. This is going to be tight. So we have that and uh, okay. So thanks, Amber. You, you shared the, I want to make this myself. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You guys uh, can do your own thing with this. And thank you, Amber, for sharing the link to the Wiremakers Club on Facebook. So if you guys want to share pictures of your work, 
uh, share uh, tutorials, all that type of thing, you can join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. It's a very, it's a big group now. It's a private group, so you just have to answer the entry questions. And then from there, uh, you can start sharing your stuff. So now I'm going to bring this one around here. Oh, I'm crossing my fingers. This isn't completely ruined. These, unfortunately, these bends are a little bit disturbing, but that's okay. We're just going to try to fix those up. And then this is going to come around here. We want to curve this around. This is going to be tight because my idea was to finish it in the at the bottom. So where we put that thing there, I think that's going to be the best way to finish it. So if we, we want the shorter end to be here, we're going to bring this one around. This one gets bent, I guess, up at an angle here or to the back, I think. So if we hold that, we're going to bend this to the back. And this is not the best way to finish it. Normally I would finish it up here, but because I'm running out of wire, uh, we don't have much choice. Is it gonna be able to, yeah, I'm going to be able to see it better here. So let's flip it and bring this one around and then I could see exactly where that bend should be. So we bring this one around here, right around here. And then the curve would be around here. So we're going to take this, curve it around. Now I'm going to remove the templates and see if that's in the right position. So what we want to do is attach these two wires together. They're going to be a little to the side. That's pretty good. And we're going to take this and continue the curve. It's just to help it out a little bit, bring it down. There's probably a better way to attach the wires together, but because I'm, I've run out of wire here, I have to do it this way. So we're going to give that a little tug, push that in, clip the end. Hi, Lynn. Uh, will, will this also be a YouTube video? Uh, this is, will be up, the replay will be up. So you could definitely watch the replay. Uh, Amber will be making a uh, timestamp. So you could go to the part in the video that you want to watch. Uh, Amber, no pressure. The timestamps can be done at any time. Amber's done all my timestamps for my other videos for the, um, for the live streams. And uh, it's easier because you could go to the specific part you want. You can also watch the live streams in fast speed. If you want to uh, get through them quickly, you can mute them and put them on fast speed if you want to get to the part uh, that you want. I won't necessarily do a tutorial for this one because I just have too many designs that I like to share. And so once I've done one, it's rare I do a tutorial for the things in the live stream sometimes i do if it's a really a, like a really good design sometimes i'll do that so now this is a little wonky a little wobbly but yeah i wouldn't normally finish it down here i'm not loving the way that looks but we're going to put that at the side and then we're going to do the horse so for the horse let me grab a soup Yes, under the live section, they've changed YouTube. So everything is in categories. So if you can't find the live streams, it's because they're in a different section called live. So now let's get a bunch of this 18 gauge wire. And let's make sure we cut enough. Uh, I don't know exactly how much we need because I haven't made this one before. The one I made for this, the shawl pin was similar but it didn't have all this hair going here. So I used, I think about 24 inches for the sh shawl pin, but then we need extra to do like, say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, at least nine, another 10, 20 inches or something. Anyways, I gotta cut a big long piece and clip it. And I will measure, this is, about maybe four feet. It's almost the length of my table. So let's do this. And we're gonna start it up here because we're gonna finish the wires in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start it here. I don't need much extra there. And I'm going to just follow the template. So get this down, bring this around as I need it. 
it's a little tricky doing this with long pieces with my camera because some of my wires get in the way, but that's okay. We're gonna bring this one down and take this one and get my round pliers, bring it up and put this one here. Get the larger round pliers and do the eye. And see if that's in a good place. There we go. Bring it over a little bit more. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit more that way. Bring that one in here and out. So we've got that one. And then this one, we're just gonna bend that back on itself to go right to the back so it's not in the way. And then from here, we just have to follow that line. I don't know if that's going to work, but we're gonna see. So we're gonna bring that one and then back up. So this is back up here to there. And from here, we wanna just push that wire down that way. So there, around here. If you wanna freehand this, you can, or if you wanna make your own template, you can. I'm gonna bring that one around here. Otherwise, the templates will be uh, linked in the description. We're gonna bring it around there and boot like that. Looks good. And then around here, curve it out a bit. And down here, we're gonna bend that. Actually, that's more of a sharp. If you want a sharper angle, use your flat pliers. So bend it up and then just kind of bend that one around. I don't want it to look like a circle, more like a, like an oval. And down here, continue that curve. So around here, there we go. And this way, bring that one around. I don't know if you need the mouth, but I'm just adding a little more detail than I've done with the other ones. Bring this one around. And again, I'm gonna get the flat pliers to make a sharper bend here. And then across. And then we can get our round pliers. So in there, maybe the larger ones up here, that one, and then this one straight up. You can just curve it with your finger or you can get the pliers in there. So we've got that around here and compare it a bit. And then from this, we're gonna bend this one to the back. So just take this bend it to the back and curve it around. Yeah, when I was tracing the one in the tutorial for the scarf pin and some of the other ones, sometimes I fast, not fast speed, but I skip like tracing the whole thing because you guys get the idea. But on the live stream, I can't really do that. I have to do all of the stages. Otherwise it won't get made. But for example, on the tutorial for the beaded horse, I did the first few bends, the first few steps, and then I just like clipped it and went to the next part of the video. And then that way it just saves you guys times because for sure these live streams are long, but you get to see the process of how I design things. So that's fun. Well, this one's already somewhat designed, because I drew it out before, but sometimes I just troubleshoot and figure things out as I go. So now I'm realizing, you know, what things work, what things don't work. 
hopefully we're not going to run out of wire. So we're bringing this up to make a kind of a main and I am bending these wires back and forth to form a stylized mane. They also somewhat look like leaves, but they are supposed to represent the mane. So we're gonna do flat pliers, do the sharp bends, curve it around with your finger, put it back on this one, around, and here, we can bring this one down. Just wanna make sure we stay in the right position. This one comes down and again to the back and around here. Just trying to do a decent amount of detail. This one too, we're gonna to bring that one down and just turn the template as you need it. Uh, you can also bend these behind. Like if you want a sharper, sharper bend, you can just see this is bent like straight, but this one's bent behind itself and it just makes a nicer, crisper line. So you could do all your lines like that if you want. Whatever, whatever you like the look of. And then this one, just making sure the the intersections line up a little bit. So yeah, this one too, if you want to do that sharper bend, you just take this and bend it right to the back rather than sort of beside each other, flip it. And then you can even like hold that, wind it around, making it look as whimsical as possible. We've got that one. And then this one just kind of bent down on itself and around. So that's a different look too. So, and then this one too, we could bend to the back a little bit. Hold that, bring it up. And then around, see where we're at. Make sure this end lines up down here. Otherwise you're gonna get too big. It's gonna to get too uh, high. So as long as this end matches here, we should be okay, even if there's a little bit of distortion amongst these bends. So now we're gonna do this one, bring this one to the back. And down here again, just bend this straight to the back. Down and around. Rotate it. Uh, where are we at? We're down there. And then this one. Yeah, we can do another one that way. Yeah, another one that way. Okay, and then that one too to the back. Around. Around here. And then we'll have one more. So that one goes here and actually this one looks like we just get the round pliers, bring that one around and we're gonna do another kind of loopy thing or bendy one like that. So we're gonna bring that one there, bring this one up, maybe put it at a higher angle just to differentiate it a bit and bend it to the back. So we're gonna do that, bend it to the back and, oh, I'm missing some people. Hi, Sharon, how are you? And Darina, hi, Darina, nice. Okay, sorry if I miss your comments. I, I, um, I get a little uh, preoccupied just focusing on the design. So there's this one here. I'm just going to actually bend that more that way. There, and... So now we wanna go over to this part of the mane that goes between the ears. So that's where I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna bring that one, loop it around, match it up to the template because this is a little more important for proportions. So we're gonna bring that one down and that one up. I'm just doing it with my finger, but you can also do it with your pliers. And then around here, and then here, it's gonna be the part 
that forms the mane. So I'm just to help the loop a little bit. I'm gonna bring it down here, around like that, and bend it back on itself. So hopefully it's not gonna to be too long. I'm gonna bend it back on itself. And this is how I was started doing the shawl pin. And then I realized it was too much detail inside the horse. So then I backpedaled and I did it very simply. So now this, this line continues up. So we're just gonna take this, hold it there, line it up, and then just form that around here. Oh, I did pretty good with the, with the size of the wire. So now this is the ear. So I'm going to just bend the ear on a sharp turn rather than bending it back on itself. Like these ones, I probably could have bent them back on the self. If you want to adjust that after you can, you can just like give them a little flip and then it makes a sharper bend. So this one too, if you want to do the same thing, you just give them a little bit of a flip and then it makes them a little sharper like the other ones. You can bend that there. So now let's go back to the ears. This, uh, this wire is a little big. And let's measure. This one came down here. This one's out of the, in the way. So I'm just going to put it to the front. We're just going to hold this. I'm going to actually hold this, bend this back and around. So that would be the ear. Hopefully I made it big enough. I made it a little small. So that's the ear. And then this is the other ear. This one we can always make smaller. Yeah, I think I made this ear maybe a little small. I mean, it does match up. Could try to make it a little higher. I just don't want to break the wire. Yeah, just make it a little bit small, uh, bigger, just make that ear a little bigger because it, I found it a little bit, a little bit um, small. So there's that. And then this is the other one at the back. This one might be a little big though. So what I'm going to do is actually take this one and make it a little smaller because it's behind. This one is, oh no, that one's in front. I don't know. That one's behind, I guess. This one's in front. Yeah, this one must, I don't know. Anyways, whatever. So now we are going to, we need to take this one and bend it to the back. So we're gonna actually take this one, take your flat pliers, make sure this is the size you want. And then we're going to bend this one straight back. See like that? This is how we attach the wires. And I am going to actually clip that because it's a little long. Uh, I'm good. Happy you made it. Yeah, me too. So now let us take this and figure out how to line it up. So this one, bring it in a little bit, bring this one over here. And we want to line these ears up somewhat like that. And then this one. Yeah, so this actually has to go further down, it looks like. Maybe I should have kept that a little higher. Anyways, I'm not gonna to worry too much about it. This is the tricky part, is lining these up in a way that it looks right. Hmm. So that one comes over here. That one comes here, because we do want, I don't know how that happened. One looks like it should be, I guess that's all right like that. They should line up. One ear is lower than the other. This, if this goes here, there's my phone. I'm gonna just let it go. And now we're gonna take this and bend this one around. Uh, just around, to, just to help the bend a little bit. There we go. We're gonna do that. And hopefully that's our position should be good. Okay, so now we're going to take this. Oh, yay. My... That's loud. That's my photos already at Jean Coutu because I'd be making them custom Lego figures and the photos for the packaging is ready at my local pharmacy. So I'm going to go down after this 
and pick that up. So if you guys don't already know, I write comics and um, I do all kinds of kooky art projects with my comics. So that's one of my kooky art projects was to make a custom Lego figure. So that's fun. And now we're just gonna, all we have to do now is we twisted one end around there. Now we're gonna finish the other end. I'm gonna remove this. So the other end, we're just gonna take it down this way and just bend the end, whoops, get in there. Bend the end, end down, we just wanna finish it. So I'm just bringing it like literally straight down here, clipping it, and then we're just going to push that end in. So they're, these ends are just kind of knotted together, but they're in the back. So the idea is this should work here. We might have to do some little adjusting you have to take this, you can adjust them a little bit, wiggle them around a little bit. Sometimes you just have to hold it and bend it, like exaggerate the bends a little bit for them, but it's pretty good. It's holding in place pretty well. I don't know if you could hammer it or something. And this one, we're gonna just try to adjust. It's cute though, I like it. Yeah, it's just these are a little finicky to get in the right position. But there you have something that looks more like a, a line drawing, which is cool. So just to show you what it looks like. Hi, cat. Happy New Year. There we go. So there's Horsey. He's pretty good. And now we want to put him in here. So we're gonna put him in here. So now he looks like he's a little big for this thing, but we're gonna figure it out as we go. So let me get some 22 gauge wire to attach it. I think it's gonna be easier. Yeah. Aw, thank you. It's adorable. So let's just hope we can get him to attach and to actually look half decent. So I'm gonna grab a sip of water. And this one gets attached down here. So it looks like if we could just attach him where that little loopy thing is, let's just go ahead and do that. And I think I'm gonna attach it with separate wires. So I'm actually gonna cut this a little shorter. We're gonna go through here, bring this one around and around few times, maybe three times. And then we want to actually bend it on either side too, just to be 100% sure, super solid. Just gonna bend it in around in a few places. So this is the same color wire as the horse. It's the rose gold in the artistic wire. Beautiful color, so beautiful. I'm gonna bring that one around. Uh, there is a link to the Beadle on website in my description of my videos. You can uh, grab any wires and things there and then whatever you can't find on their website, I have also on um, in my Amazon affiliate shop. So there we go. So that's attached there. We're almost done. And now we are going to get another little piece. I'm gonna cut this one in half. And we are going to bring this one over here and attach it, attach the nose here, because we definitely have to attach it in a few places. Otherwise, it is not going to sit right. So let's attach this one here. Uh, now thinking about it, I should have done the horseshoe in silver and the horse in rose gold. So that was that's a feedback that I would uh, suggest to you if you wanna make contrasting colors of the horseshoe and the horse, just so you can differentiate, so it stands out a little bit. And probably silver might be a more natural color for the horseshoe. Although what do I know? I've never seen a horseshoe, so there we go. So Connie, you could confer about that. So we're gonna bring this one around here, bring that one right around. So now we've attached that two wines in the nose and two to either side. There we go. And there we go. So 
Now, jolly, jolly. Hello, hello. Jolie is the French word for beautiful or pretty, I guess. That's lovely, lovely name. So now we are going to, oh, Sharon has to go. Nice, have fun. There we go. So now we have to attach this guy in here. I mean, in theory, you could let the, you could let the hair go over the horseshoe. This one, see, I put it within there. But I kind of like the way it looks when it's once it's gone over the edge a little bit. Because if we do, I mean, you guys tell me, do you like it like that or overlapping? I think the shape's going to be better if we overlap it a little bit. But you could do it either way. I think my horse head ended up being maybe a little bigger than this one. I don't know if that's what's happened here. Maybe, or maybe it just got a little bit pushed out of place. It's hard to tell. I mean, it's hard, even with a template, it's hard to do it perfect. Overlap, okie dokie. I think I agree with you. So now we have to just decide, oh, actually if I attach it here, it will have the overlap. So just, you guys see where you have a strategic spot to um, attach it. So I'm gonna attach it here and yeah, after this, I'm going to go for a coffee at one of our favorite coffee shops called Cafe St. Joe. It's a beautiful coffee shop um, on the water, which is nice. And we live in an area that's near the river, which is, we're not on the water, obviously, but we're, um, we live near, near the river. And so actually you could take the Lakeshore Road pretty well all the way downtown. It's a, it's, 40 minute drive, but it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice, nice drive. So we're gonna go around here and then one more around here. So we're just securing it. I did two wines in the main and then two on either side to attach it. And yeah, I think I'm really thinking now I should have done contrasting colors for the horseshoe. I actually might make another design smaller than this that could be a pendant or earrings and simplify the horse a little bit, but do the horseshoe a uh, different color and the horse in the, another color and then hang it as an earring. Wouldn't that be cute or a pendant? But like obviously much smaller. Uh, I might just keep making horses until the cows come home. I don't know, <laughs> we're gonna see. So we are gonna push this one in and Connie actually purchased the template. So every time I have a new horse template, I just send it to her because <laughs> we're gonna have quite the, I might write a whole book about how to make wire horses. There we go. So we have like, I think the PDF is now seven pages long. So there's a lot of, a lot of uh, templates and, and links to materials and stuff like that. So we're just gonna bring this one around. So this is, the starting point for the design for the sun catcher. Now, if you're doing sun catchers, like I said, you can add beads here, but I don't love these beads, but you can add beads like that. Let me look at my other beads. And is this one on the template? It will be. <laughs> so if you guys buy the template before I put this one on, I will send it to you. I will, I will mail it to you, but by the end of the day, it should be on there. And Connie, I did send you an email this morning with an update and I will send you this one too. So here's an idea. You could put little pearls in there. These are nice. Let me know what you think of these ones. We could put little pearls. I like that idea actually. Don't you like those pearls? Let's add those pearls. I think they're pretty. You guys let me know what you think. With pearls or without pearls? It's hard to tell on the table. But that's an idea you can add. This is just to give you guys ideas. I might not take the time to do it now, but you can definitely add the pearls if you like. Uh, it's not easy. This is definitely an advanced project. I do a lot of simpler projects on my channel too, but the, on the live streams, I do more complex uh, projects for sure. Overlap, yes, thank you, um, Rod, Roddy. So, Wooden beads, ooh, that'd be cool. That'd be rustic, I like that. I like that idea, like farmhouse chic. We've been watching all these HGTV renovation shows and it's super fun. Angelica, hi Angelica, thank you. And did I say hi to Danita? Hi Danita, you like the overlap, cool. So guys, 
just now tell me if you like the beads or not the beads. And um, maybe I should ask Amber. Amber, you've been my consultant for this one. So what do you think? Do you like the beads or no beads? Yep, yeah, the, um, the wire is artistic copper, rose gold color. It's tarnish resistant. This is uh, 18 gauge for the horse. And 16 gauge for, oopsies, 16 gauge for the horseshoe. So there's that. You like the pearls. Okay, so if we're to add, if you're going to add pearls, I would have done it from the get-go. You could have, what you would have done was, I'll show you, just to have an example. So here's a wire. Let me get a piece of wire. So if you're going to add beads, I would do it, like I said, from the get-go. You take your take your your wire, stick the bead on there. It has to have a big enough hole. And then just hold the bead and bring this one around here. And what I like to do is I actually like to surround it with both sides. We're gonna, whoops, this one got kinked. And we're gonna bring this one to the back and then bring this one to the back. So that way it looks like it's definitely fully surrounded with wire. So that would be how I would advise to add the beads rather than adding them afterwards because it just, um, this one looks better on that side. Uh, doesn't really matter this way, I guess. Yeah, it just looks cleaner when you add it with the same um, wire. Otherwise, you'd have to get a separate wire and twist it in and you could do it, but it's a little more complicated. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. It's been an hour. So uh, I am going to blue bees. Your sister is a blue fanatic. Well, there you go. The sky is the limit. So whatever you guys uh, want to do, custom make it as you want. Uh, Connie, I will send you the template for this one. I will actually, I'll just scan it and add it to its writ. So there we go. So you guys. Um, I will link up the other tutorials for the other horse videos, last week's live streams, the shawl pin, and all that type of thing. Thank you guys so much for hopping on the live stream. Thank you, Amber, Treesap Girl, for moderating the chat and being so helpful. And uh, next video is Saturday, uh, regular video on Saturday. Also, if you guys like doing art, I am starting a 10-day bookmark making challenge on Monday on my art channel so that's heather boyd art so you can hop over there subscribe to that channel and we i have all kinds of really cool projects for art arty bookmarks so uh, we'll be using watercolor color pencils collage acrylic all kinds of things so look out for that oh hi winona I'm, i can barely see the chat now someone else hopped on let me wait a minute i'm missing all this chat so let's see we have Winona and Heartland Lover. Heartland Lover. Someone likes horses, I think. Heartland is a, isn't that a Canadian show? It was a Canadian TV show. I thought it was Canadian. Yes, it was. Because the woman that directed that series, her name was Heather Conkey. And she, um, she was a, she was an, uh, oof, an actress, kind of a TV personality in the 70s. And because I remember very well because people used to tease me because I had the same name. They used to call me Heather Conkey and that's the name of the director. And she be, ended up becoming like a really big deal in the Canadian TV industry. Yet I digress. So guys, I'm going to let you go. Have a wonderful day. I have to take a picture for the thumbnail. So um, I'll take a picture. And I will see you guys the next time. So have a great day. Bye guys.